This problem is a classic consumer choice problem. So we've got our consumer, Jake, and he purchases only two goods, food and clothing. F will be the number of units of food and C will be the number of units of clothing. Now Jake wants to maximize his satisfaction or happiness or utility, and the more food and clothing he has, the better off he is. We're gonna give his utility function a specific functional form of F times C. So this is all information we're just given for this problem. Now food and clothing, of course, aren't free, so PF will be the price of food and PC will be the price of clothing. And price always refers to the per unit price. Let's suppose Jake has a monthly income of I. Now sometimes you'll see income abbreviated as a capital M. Um, those notations are used interchangeably, so just keep that in mind. Now what's the objective function for this problem? Well, for consumers, the objective function is typically their utility function. I'd say 99 times out of 100 when you do a consumer problem, they'll be maximizing their utility as their objective. So the objective function for this problem then is just our utility function, u equals f times c. What's the constraint for this problem? Well, for consumers, the constraint is typically their budget. Right? They have income and goods and services aren't free. The spending must be less than or equal to income. We don't have credit and we don't have loans in this simple type of problem. So you can't spend more than your income is. So our constraint then is Jake's income has to be greater than or equal to his spending. And his spending will be, well, the amount of food he buys times the price per unit of food plus the amount of clothing he buys times the price per unit of clothing. So this down here is Jake's budget constraint. So which variables are exogenous and which are endogenous? Remember, exogenous variables are ones that are currently outside Jake's control. And that would be the price of the goods and the services and his income. Sure, over the long run, he could change careers and change his income, but right now, income is an exogenous variable. So the endogenous variables are the ones that Jake can choose or can control. In this case, that's the amount of food and the amount of clothing he buys. So let's set this up as the traditional constrained optimization problem where we write it out in official notation. This is also called stating the consumer's problem. And here's what it looks like. So we'll break this down piece by piece. The first thing is going to be how are we optimizing? And your choices basically are maximizing or minimizing. And in the case of utility, we want to maximize our happiness or satisfaction. Next will come, well, what are you optimizing? Well, we're optimizing our utility. Below the max or the min, you'll see some brackets and you'll see some variables. And these are going to be your endogenous variables, the variables that you can choose within the problem. Next to the notation for what you're optimizing, you're going to have to have specific functional form. And we were given that Jake's utility is food times clothing. ST stands for subject to. We've got our objective function, we want to maximize it, but we've got a constraint. We're subject to a constraint. And following the ST comes your budget constraint. And we just write it out exactly as we did in the previous slide. 